Hi there everybody and welcome back to the channel. I know it has been quite a while since I posted last. I've been uh, a little busy doing some life stuff, but uh, I'm back now ready to start messing with the cars again. Uh, but the first thing is first is we have to figure out my Holly Sniper. There's an issue going on right now where for whatever reason my SD card has become corrupted and whenever I start the car up instead of getting the display screen where it shows RPM and air fuel ratio all I get is a blue air screen and although the car seems to run okay whenever that's happening uh, there's no information so it's pretty much useless um, so let me go ahead and start this thing up show you guys the issue and then hopefully it's gonna be a quick fix I'll walk you guys through what I uh, what I think the issue is and how to solve it so if anyone's having the same issue you can do it at home and get it right um, so yeah let me start it up and show you guys what's going on alright so here's my screen all this is normal. Ooh, low voltage. Hopefully this thing starts. It might not. Let's give it a go. Nope. Let's go get the battery. Okay. Attempt number two here. Uh, I have the battery pack on there now, so it should be a little bit better. Yeah, that should do. Let's see if this works. Okay guys, so I took the SD card out of the side here. This is just how I'm checking to make sure that this is wrong. And <laughs> as long as it doesn't make me look like a fool here, this should start up and all this stuff should still be here. So let's give it a try. It even seems to start better like that. But as you can see, I can go back to the home screen here, go to file. Go to global configuration and SD card is not in here so it's not showing any tunes. Although it's using the Zane Tune 1 that I have on here. So for whatever reason, whenever that SD card is inside the Holly here, it's it's really messing stuff up. So that's pretty much how I narrowed it down to uh, an SD card issue. So let me uh, let me go inside, get the computer firing and show you guys how uh, I'm going to attempt to fix this. Okay guys, so here we are down here at the computer and all you want to do is plug in your SD card wherever you can on your computer and it's either going to open up just like this or you can go to your file down here and find it. Mine's named Holly uh, Sniper EFI right here and I forgot to say up there at the <clears throat> in the car but you want to download your uh, global configuration file or, or your tune. I haven't. I show you guys how to do that in another video, but uh, it's pretty basic. You just can go to Files and then select your tune and download, and it'll save it onto your uh, SD card. And you can find that. Make sure you have it. It's under Holly, under this file here, under Save GCF, and then you can see the tunes that are saved on that SD card right here. So I know I already have mine in another file right over here. So I'm not going to worry about saving these, but what you're going to want to do is basically just drag whatever files you want to keep out of here and put it in a file or just right into the desktop just like that. But I don't need those and I don't need anything in this SD card. So first step we're going to do is go back to the very front of the SD card here, highlight everything, and we're just going to delete it all. Okay, and this is probably why mine is corrupt right here. Um, we're gonna try that again, still nothing. So there's something going on with this file right here. So I'm going to delete everything else. Okay, 
Go ahead and give it permission. See, yeah, this one still won't delete. Okay. So it looks like everything but that was deleted. For whatever reason, I don't know what's on that file. But uh, so what we're going to do now is format this SD card. So you can go back to the front here for it, and you want to go down and find the SD card on the left hand side here. You can right click it, go to format. Now this is an 8 gig <clears throat> SD card, but it'll show a little bit lower. I'm going to keep all of this stuff the same, and we're going to keep the name the same, and we're going to go ahead and hit start. This will erase everything on it, even that corrupt file. So format is now complete. We can close this. I'm going to reopen this, find that SD card again. Here it is. And now as you can see, totally empty. So now what we have to do is redown the redownload the software that needs to go onto this SD card. So we can go here to Google, go to holly.com, over here to support down to fuel injection, sniper EFI, and then there's some information here for you guys, but basically what we need is this sniper EFI SD card contents. Click on that, it's going to download, and then this is the file we're looking for right here, Don't want to buy that. and here are the three files that we need to put on that SD card. So let's minimize that. We still have the SD card open over here. So now we're going to take these and we're just going to drag them right in here. It's going to copy them over. It might take a second. Okay. So now we have the files over here. We can exit this. Now the tune that we saved is over here. And we're going to want to put that tune into, into Holly under this file right here and under the save GCF. So this is empty right now. What you want to do is find right here, this is my up-to-date one. We want both of these files right here that go with this tune. Drag that over into here. So now this is on to the SD card. And uh, that's it guys. The SD card should be good now. Let's go back out to the car and re-download this tune and see what happens. Okay guys, we're back in the Camaro here. Uh, basically at this point the SD card is back in the handheld and we need to uh, upgrade that firmware that we put on there and we also need to upload that tune that we put onto the SD card so the computer knows what to do. So let me show you guys how we do that. Okay, usual stuff. Power it on. It's gonna check all that stuff. Might take a little bit longer because it's a whole new, uh, whole new basically system on that SD card so it has to re-download everything and check for updates. As you can see, it's doing all that right now. Okay, so now we have to remove the SD card and then reboot the device. So let me go ahead and do that. SD card has been removed. Rebooting the device. The SD card is actually back in there now though. So now we can see all this is normal. Let's go here. Let's just see if it has any tune. So it's still running on the Zane Tune one that it originally was, but I'm going to change that. Okay, so now we're going to go to Global Configurations. Alright, here is this new tune that we're going to be running. So we want to do upload to ECU. Yes, it's going to upload that. Turn ignition off, four seconds for new. Okay, let's do that. Uno, dos, trace. Okay, let's put this thing back on. All right, here we are. Let's make sure that we're running that file so ECU overview and you can see Zane tune you can't really read it all but it says good on it so we are on the right tune now now I'm going to go into my dash here okay all oh, that's normal so I'm gonna go ahead and try to crank this thing up and see if this fixes our issue
Let's try to uh, do a firmware update and see what that does for us. Let's go to File, ECU, right here. Upgrade ECU firmware. Yep. That all looks all right. Okay. Let's go ahead and cycle this again. So something is not right here. Yeah, see, okay, so we need to re-upload a global configuration, it looks like. Let's upload this. Okay. Cycle the key. Okay, so now our firmware should be up to date, and there should be a new tune on here. Let's take a look. Okay, good tune. Yep, same firmware version. All right, let's try it now. Okay guys, so that seemed to fix the problem. Uh, the main issue was formatting that card inside like I showed you guys. And then we had to basically update the firmware and then re-download the global configuration file, the tune, onto the holly here. And for whatever reason, uh, whenever you update that firmware, it gets rid of the tune, so you basically just have to re-upload that to it. Uh, then that seemed to solve the issue, and now it's showing all the displays, it's on the right stuff, so... We should be good to go to uh, start driving this thing around, start tuning it again, and uh, yeah, start having fun with it. So stay tuned for some uh, upcoming episodes. I've got a bunch of fun stuff planned out for this car, so appreciate you guys watching, and see you in the next one.